Hey, that's my job. Man, I love this thing. Oh, uh, Principal Prickly, what brings you out on the playground, sir? Your happiness, son. Tape it off, boys. What's going on? The school board's finally released some long overdue funds, and you kids are gonna get a brand new jungle gym. <laughs> Just as soon as we can tear down this old hunk of junk. You mean you're gonna tear down old Rusty? <laughs> old Rusty, isn't that quaint? <laughs> That's right, kid. The construction workers will be here by 11 to start wrecking, so all you kids stay off this thing. And remember, if anybody asks, Mr. Prickly is a great principal, and his first priority is now and always will be you children. Now get out of my way, you little brats. I... I can't believe it. Recess without old Rusty. Say it ain't so. Why do grown-ups always do these things? I'll never forget this old thing. Yeah. Right here is where the swinging girl laughed so hard, she swallowed her loose tooth. And right there is where Pinky Jones fell off and broke his collarbone and had to have that plate put in his head. You just can't replace memories like that. Old Rusty was here when my big brother was in school. Old Rusty was here when my mom was in school. Heck, old Rusty was here when my great-uncle Mary was in school. Your Uncle Mary? Don't ask. Who knows how long old Rusty's really been here? I'll bet old Rusty's older than that. Older than that? <laughs> Old Rusty's been here since the beginning of time. Yeah. But you know the main reason I'll never forget Old Rusty? Because it was right here, back on the very first day of kindergarten, where the five of us first met. Hi. Oh, yeah. That's right. I forgot about that. Well, I guess that's that. Aren't you coming, man? Nah. I think I'm just gonna play an old Rusty a little longer. But TJ, recess is over. Miss Crokey will have to send you to the office. She'll understand. You guys go on. I'll be there in a minute. Suit yourself. So then the bus driver says to the string, Hey, are you a string? And the string says, Nope, I'm afraid not. <laughs> <laughs> hey, kid, what are you doing up there? Playing. Well, get down from there. We got work to do. I can't. What do you mean you can't? Get off that thing, kid. We got orders to knock it down. Sorry. Now look, kid, either you get off or, or we're going to have to knock it down with you on it. If that's how I have to go, then so be it. <sighs> T.J. Detweiler, I should have known you'd be the one behind this. What disgusting, perverted thing are you up to now? Playing. What? Don't you know recess is over? Get down from there this minute! Sorry, Miss Finster, but if I get down, those men are gonna wreck old Rusty, and I just can't let that happen. How dare you talk to me like that, you little hooligan! Now get off of that thing, or I'll take my shoe to you! Never! Old Rusty's the heart and soul of this school. He's almost as old as you are. Why, without old Rusty, this place would just be a big building with... with a, a bunch of books and teachers and stuff. I said get down from there, Detweiler, before I have to... to come up there and get you myself! And you'll have to get me, too! And me! And me! Me, too! Brats, have ten seconds to get down from there, or I'll have every last one of you expelled. One, two... What do we want? A jungle gym! When do we want it? Now! What do That's we want? it. Do something! Do we Sorry, want? lady, but tearing down a jungle gym with kids on it is against union rules. Hey, it didn't used to be, but we had a what meeting. Oh! Yeah! They're giving up! We won! We won! I hope you're right, Vince. I really hope you're right. Someone swing it, my lord. Kumbaya. All Someone these kids.
kids unified against the forces of oppression. It's so beautiful. Yeah, yeah, real beautiful. But what's the man up to now? That's what I want to know. Me too, Spinelli. Me too. This is a disaster. A disaster, you hear me? Do you have any idea how this is going to affect my career? If the papers get wind of this, I can kiss that cushy job at Spiro Agnew Middle School goodbye. Excuse me, Principal Prickly, sir, but maybe the kids have a point. Maybe we should just give them what they want. I mean, after all, it's just a jungle gym. Just a jungle gym? I always knew you were a troublemaker, Grotke. Give in to the jungle gym today, and they'll want better food tomorrow. Soon they'll demand a longer recess, and then more free reading time. Eventually, rock and roll will take over the world. Society will crumble, and Western civilization as we know it will come to an end. I see your point, Miss Finster, but we can't start by using force. I think we first need to take a middle course. I'll try to reason with them, and then, if that doesn't work, we'll execute Plan P. <gasps> Plan P? But, Principal Brickley, don't you think that's a bit extreme? Extreme times call for extreme measures, Miss Grotke. Excellent. Someone's digging, my lord. Kumbaya. Faculty approaching. Hello, children. Lovely day, isn't it? In fact, it's such a lovely day, why waste it on this rickety old piece of junk metal? If you'd all just step down for a moment, we could exchange it for a brand new high-impact plastic one. I hear it even has a realistic-feeling plastic captain's wheel. Never! Old Rusty is ours and we'll never give him up! Yeah! Oh, sorry you feel this way, but perhaps if I explain things, you'll see the light of reason. This old Rusty, as you call it, is school property. And as the keeper of school property, I feel a certain sense of ownership over it. So in the name of Third Street School, it is my responsibility to say to you, Get off my jungle gym! Your jungle gym? How can you own a jungle gym? How can you own the way the monkey bars feel in a kid's fingers when he's hanging in midair? How can you put a price on the cool, clean feel of metal on a guy's butt when he's sliding full blast down a slide? It's like magic. And let me tell you something, Principal Prickly. Magic is not school property. Yeah! Heck no, we won't go! Heck no, we won't go! Heck no! Okay, that's it. Miss Spencer, execute Plan P. That's right. I'm calling your parents. Our parents? How low can they get? Oh, heartless fiends. This better be good, Finster. Yeah, I had to cancel yoga to come down here. I thought anyway, I, it doesn't make any sense. <gasps> what the? We shall not, we shall not be moved. We shall Look what your rotten no-good children are up to now. They instigated a riot. Hey, isn't that the same jungle gym we used to play on? Man, that thing is old. Exactly. That's why we have to tear it down and put up a new one. Tear it down? You can't tear old Rusty down. Oh, yeah. This is where Laura Jameson laughed so hard she swallowed her loose tooth. And where Randy fell off and broke his arm. Hey, you still got that plate in your head? Sure do. Don't you people understand what's happening here? Your kids are standing in the way of progress. And as parents, it's your job to stop them. Now get over there and do what you have to do. Don't worry, Principal Prickly. We know exactly what we have to do. We shall not, we shall not be moved. We Shall not be moved just like a sea. So but, sad. but you people can't do this. Actually, sir, they can. What? Well, uh, that woman there is Mrs. Hennessy, the president of the PTA, and uh, that's Jack Riley, the superintendent's brother in law, and uh, that's. All right, fine. They want to keep this rotten old pile of rust? Let them. Keep it, you hear me? Go ahead and keep it. Yeah! Huh? With this much weight on it, the structural limits of old Rusty... What? I can't hear you, Gretchen. There are too many! Look out! She's gonna cave! After all that, and now, it's gone. Maybe yes, maybe no. Hey, Lou, doesn't the Mega 2000 use the same three-quarter-inch 260 pipe as this? Yeah, and it's got one of these 4.5-foot Lucas shafts, too. <laughs> you thinking what I'm thinking? Folks, leave it to us. I christen you New Rusty. You know, Lou, I think we done good. Mocha latte? <laughs> I love this thing. 